Hello, this is Dalen 75 Games. I am back. I'm back in Project 1999 EverQuest. I'm in West Karana as Thajan, my Dark Elf Wizard. I'm hidden right now. And there is a Will of the Wisp here. It's even to me. I'm level 10, by the way. Let's see if I can't take it out. see. 1% uh, into level 10. I haven't played this game for a few months. I think it was probably early or... Well, playing is a, a funny way of uh, saying it. I'll explain after this. Let's see how this goes. So, Firebolt. Oops. Hit hide. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've played, regardless. This goes 80% resisted. Damn it. Well, I can still hit it. But, um, yeah, it can hit me back pretty hard, too. Root. Just don't have that much mana at this, at this level. Let's try Shock of Ice. Fizzling here. 41%. It's not bad. I should get it down to a manageable level. One more. Shock of Ice. 12%. I don't think I've even hit it with my staff yet. Oh, I don't know if I will be able to. Uh, I just remembered, I think you need magic. This has got to be magic. Yeah, it is magic. I hit it for six points, that's it. Yeah, I thought my staff was magic. Weird. Oh, no, I'm not even targeting the damn thing. Come on. Three points. Can't cast any spells. That was a good hit. 22. Burn it like so. I don't have any bag space anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm in... I'm in uh, West Karana. I haven't played, like, uh, a whole bunch of things came up in November. And uh, come around December as well. I just... Uh, my, my health got a little bad. Again, headaches and nausea and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to follow this trail. Brown bear is green. And this should take me to bandits after this guard tower up here. Now I've got my reputation. I should, uh, sorry, I should say faction. Faction up. The other guard tower had apprehensive guards. It's just bear. It's threatening. It might actually attack me. Is a guard wandering out. He's apprehensive. Other guard. They're apprehensive. It's this bear. Grizzly bear. It's blue. That would be a good kill. So I got 2% off the one even kill. Um, yeah, I tried to... Last time I played the game, I was trying to make a... Uh, There's a blue will-o'-wisp. Trying to make a video, a guide video on... Um, uh, uh, what's, what the heck is it? That dungeon in the Fear Rot. Grizzly bear. Okay, so I'll just rest here for a couple minutes. Yeah, it was Kazakh Thule. Weird. Will -o -wisp. A Will of the Wisp, a wandering spirit. It's. Okay, it's red. It's apprehensive. Strange. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. A wandering spirit. So it's apprehensive, so I can try hiding. Okay, now it's indifferent. I'm hidden. Hidden from the world. Unless I can see through invisibility. Or I guess hidden. Whatever it is. Rogue stealth type thing. Yeah, I failed terribly. <laughs> I, um... Yeah, I had like a, about a week of nausea and headaches again. I was a little worried. So, uh, fortunately my uh, neurologist, they can't figure it out what's 
what's wrong, why I'm getting these things, or the migraines, but, um, uh, yeah, so I tried to make a video at the time, and I died, actually, my 44 shaman actually died inside, it was caught by two blues, and I was rooting over and over, but they kept on failing, and I just wanted to root and gate out, which I did earlier, that's how I got out of, a. Uh, somebody seeing some one of the mobs can see through invisibility actually several mobs can it happened to me about three times uh, just the one time was bad when two of them came after me so it was a little frustrating I actually have that all on video a little frustrating the roots kept on failing over and over and over again so yeah it sucked nothing I could do about that though uh, I don't want to take him into there if they can see through invisibility I'd rather have Terex my shadow knight who can just feign death and uh, instantly invisible himself with a uh, circlet of shadow that he has. So he's, he's much better to stealth around those places. Then again, I also have Teak in my rogue, who I was able to go through all of Mistmore with him completely un unseen by any mob. And he was only like, what, level 27 at the time, so... Okay, so my plan is to go to one of the brigand camps. They're supposedly between 9 and 11 for levels. I just want to take a little bit of a break from going into Black Pearl, because I think all the videos that this guy's done, um, sorry, not all of them, last three videos were of Black Pearl. Let's see what we're up against. There's a, there's a beetle here. There's other things, you don't just have to go and fight static mobs, like uh, there's some bears that are blue, um, there's a big beetle I saw that was blue as well, way off in the distance when I came into the zone. Okay, so it should be the next left. I think I see it. And then it leads up to a farm. These, these are things I always used to pass by at higher levels, like in my late teens or, or mid-teens to, to 20s and stuff like that. Never... No, oh, there's somebody here. It's a player. I think player's power leveling. Okay, well, there's other bandit camps. What's this person? A bandit is yellow. I don't want that one anyway. I would, if this was Terex and I was geared out the way I was, uh, when he was this level, I could take on yellows, actually. It was actually pretty cool. So there's a grizzly bear over there. Should be a lot easier fight than uh, that even will-o'-wisp. Right, so I'm going to have to check the map and see what's up. I'll be right back. Alright, uh, wasn't paying attention where that bear went. It's over here now. So uh, there's another bandit camp to the northeast, and then... Even if they're using both, there's still a, a to the east of the next bandit camp. Is, it says it's mountains filled with bandits, 9 to 11. Oh, can't see. It's out of range. I must be targeting something else. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I know. I should be, uh, shouldn't be fighting like that, but let's do this. Brown bear's on fire, but it hasn't changed direction. <laughs> it's bathed in fire. Oh. Oh, f crying out loud. It must be this one. I saw it. I didn't even see the, the, the dot go over there. Anyways, this stupid bear's going to be attacking me. Jeez, what the heck happened? I'm not paying attention. Yeah, my biggest issue is getting proper sleep. If I don't get proper sleep, I'm pretty screwed. And uh, for some reason, it's sleep has just been really bad in the last couple months again. And I'm trying to rectify that. And that seems to affect me bring on the uh, headaches and nausea and migraines. If it, The worst, of course, migraines. There's a big blue spider over there. So I may make a few mis mistakes here. I also haven't played it in a few months. Okay. I have the right target now. Also, it just hit 40 in December, so... Okay, so that one definitely hit. I am... I officially consider myself old. <laughs> now, I don't consider myself my, an old... An old man, I guess, but... I'm in the beginning stages of being old. At least middle age. And no, anyone in their 30s... You're not going to want to call yourself middle age. It's cool in your 20s and teens and earlier to say, oh, you're middle aged if you hit 30. No, it's not when you hit 30. <laughs> well, this took a lot of mana, too, but one of them was resisted. 
I assume it has a lot of endurance because it's a bear. Chunk of meat. I should be taking these ruined bear pelt. Chunk of meat to eat. Yeah. Let's see. It's, um, yeah, stamina. This endurance, stamina. Every RPG has its own name for it. Okay, that one is actually even to me. So let's go check out the, the camp. I do believe it's over this way. I ran up this hill. Oh, look, all these things went up. <laughs> That's cool. So here's the camp ahead. There was a yellow bandit right around those trees over there. Oh, there's a yellow bandit right there. I do have to keep a lookout, don't I? Yeah, I have to be alert. If that person's still over there. I'm going to try to get past this bandit. If I... Well, I could always... If I have mana, I could always root them and gate out. But it's a bit of a run back. It's that wandering spirit. Okay, so I take it that this is the mountains? I need to find out where I am. That's northwest. So I figured so. This is north. So it shows on the map that to the northeast is the next bandit camp. Maybe it's up here. I don't know. I, I'm totally not familiar with this zone. The only leveling I think I've ever really done out here was uh, bandit glares at me through these yellow. A lot of yellow ones. Um, in Western Karana, the only place I've really gone to was fighting at the uh, big scarecrow farm. I think I leveled up my ranger there from like 22 to 23 or something. About two years back, actually. Hey, well, I don't see another camp. I just saw the one bandit. Interesting. Well, if I can't really get much action with this character, I'll switch over to my Shadow Knight. See what I see what damage he can do in the Emerald Jungle. Uh, <laughs> those those can be real tough. There's a player. Man, how many people are in this zone? Nine, and they're all out here. There's three players here. Brigand. Brigand is red to me. Oh, so this is a camp right here. Bandit. I wonder if they... they Human and two barbarians. I wonder if they would want a wizard. Till then at dawn. Hello. Uh, would... Wix... Wixard? I'll sit in med while I wait for a response. These guys are clearing them out. Oh, maybe he's a wizard. But he has a shield. I don't think he's what he's gotta be a cleric. Oh, then uh Dawn. There's no way a, a wizard can wear. He's a druid. That's actually really r rare. I haven't he's fifteen. Well this guy is yellow to me. I don't know. I could group with him and get experience, but he's not responding to me, so. Yeah, I'll tell Harabia. Give him one more time. Chance. Ten wizard here. Would you like of uh, But you know what I'm thinking if they're fighting reds to me I might not be able to do too much. But I'll send it off just in case. Just so. This guy's even... I think I, I'm actually about two levels too low. I should be probably level 12. I 
Well, I'll wait for my mana to come back. And maybe I'll just go hunting out animals like bears and stuff like that. Okay, they responded. And they said, come, come join them. Oh, there they are. Hello. All right, I'm fully met up. Sash here, probably not for a wizard. I wouldn't think. I would assume for a monk. So, uh, Bennett Harabia, he's he's eleven rogue. Benadon is, I think he's fifteen druid, and Dylan. Who all? Dylan. He's eleventh warrior. Yeah, so I'm. It's not bad. I mean, I could be a level higher, but can you turn them in Thasian? Uh, what? Don't remember. Um. Don't know. Actually. It's okay. Uh, my packs are full at the moment. Okay, let's uh, band it. Look how small I am. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm freaking halfling. <laughs> I, uh, I ran into a halfling in Kanos Hills whose name was Half Wing. Half H A L F wing. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Half wing. Uh, brigands is the red one, so hopefully I'll be able to do damage to that. I'm just glad to be in a group. So there's no healer here. Oh, sorry. There, sorry, we do have uh, Benadon. He's a 15 druid, but I get. I'm used to thinking about Dungeons and Dragons. Um, yeah. <laughs> been chatting with this guy on my channel so much, like every day. At first it was another guy, and then another... Uh, I do appreciate people coming and chatting and sit, putting their own experiences in their minds and thoughts about what I've done in the game on my channel. Like, And I like it. It actually makes me feel like people are enjoying what, what they're seeing me do. Um, and I'm not complaining here, I'm just saying I, this guy's been chatting to me every day, sometimes, sometimes close to 10 posts, 10 comments on my videos, and uh, I just had my mind was kind of thinking about uh, Dungeons and Dragons, so that's why I, went at, I wasn't sure if to call it Endurance or Stamina, and yes, I have, including this game, because this MMO, it's technically an RPG, four RPGs going at the same time, and they all have different names for all their stats, so. Uh, yeah, I probably should have not have done that. Okay. You're rooted. It's, she's done. One more hit. There. Damn it. Sorry. I will refrain. Hitting so hard. So hard. Wait. That was a mistake on my part. What? Did I con it, anyways? It's, it was yellow. A yellow did that much damage to me, and like, wow, I really have to watch what I'm doing. Uh, skip me, please. I'll just hide. Wait till he's done his. Okay, so I definitely don't want to get hit hard now. This guy... Is, was that a proc that happened? Is, isn't he a warrior? Oh. No. He's casting spells on it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, my head is just kind of mush right now. I had to take uh, sleeping pills to actually fall asleep last night. Uh, it's not cool to do that. I need my sleep to get back on track. So there's two of them here. Oops. Oh my god, Miss Tell. Sorry. <laughs> what button did I just hit? 
I think I hit shift three. Or alt three, control three. Okay, so there's a brigand. I should be able to hit the other one. Bring this one down. Another one. That guy's kind of dumb. And I probably should be able to hit hard with this one. Yeah. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. As a wizard, so you don't get... Uh, it's a key. It's a key for all those people that get super ticked off that they die from a train. Hot key, I mean. But I should know that. Bandit's corpse. They've already looted this. I wouldn't mind a bit of coin, but yeah, I have no space at all. Not one spot. So Dylan was injured. Huh. I wonder why Benadon's not healing more. I think he's using all of his spells for offense. Oh, here, he's healing here. Uh, test, okay, so I've seen my share of trains. Did anyone mention Black Burl? Laugh aloud. That place, too, I broke back. Okay, Brigand, so a red, big red. Are they coming down here, or what? We're missing a player, unless he's, he's probably stealth. So these brigands, they are at least uh, level 13, but I assume they're higher, like probably level 14, 15. Okay, so I will shock of ice. Oh, resisted. But even if you resist and you throw another one on, it will still be cumulative uh, aggro. Hate, as they like to call it. Resisted again, son of a... Okay, well, let's use a fire. Nope. Three resists. Yikes. I was able to hit the one before. But that one might have been, even been higher. It could have been like a level 16. Also had a... Uh, am I overweight? I'm overweight here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would tend to make you overweight. I don't need all that copper. 506 copper. Well, that's quite a bit better. 48 out of 60 now. There's a bandit here. Yeah, I had a... Um Actually, I had a troll on my channel for a couple of my videos. I don't know how long the person may have been going on, but I don't know who the person was. It was a name I hadn't seen before. And um, you want to criticize what I do, fine. I have a lot of people give me tips or even outright saying what I did was just stupid. And I always try to learn from my mistakes. This is just a blue. I'll just hit him with a fireball. 
But if you're an unknown person, you're going to come into my channel and immediately start saying the most ridiculous things, like all I do is complain about other people even though I do the same thing myself. Just F off, buddy. Just gone. You're banned. Um, and then just putting ridiculous statements. Sorry, man. It's just you're not even going to be heard. So it's a, you're wasting your time. This channel is something that I, I want to do that's supposedly... Uh, somewhat fun for me to play and to be here. I don't want to be stressed out and dealing with a bunch of people who are just there to get off on irritating you. So, not gonna happen. Whoa, that was quick. Now, here would be the new mistake to AE that entire group. <laughs> Harmony's good. Good work. Just sit down. Try to gain some mana. Harmony and Snare. Always a good combination. He's going right after Benadon. Now he's come after me. Actually, that's great if he is Snare, because I can just run, run away. Oops. My comrades will avenge my death. Yeah, so don't bother. I've only banned one other person. That was just for a while. But I... I took away the ban. I don't like doing that. Like, there's really only one person that's banned on my channel. But, um... Yeah, I haven't looted one thing. There we go. Here's Sash. I should... It's a bandit Sash. I should look that up after this. This one's an even. I'm not sure why people would even do that. What's the point? Because none of it's true. It's not like... Thanks for all the vids, mate. <laughs> you are welcome. Oh, another little bit of news that I, uh, it was like January 2nd, I think, may have even been the first, I actually surpassed a thousand subs. Human blood. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just weird, it's a weird game to get, you can get like dark elf parts, human parts, and you can actually, I th I'm not sure what, what kind of recipe you can make with them, what kind of food. But uh, you, you can make something. So this guy's yellow and there's two of them. I'm just going to shock of ice. He's already down good enough. Now, this the other one is calling. He's blue. So I'll hit him with my most powerful spell. Because even if he comes up to me, I can just thwack her. That's a pretty good backstab. 48 uh, for 11 rogue. I think it is. Flask. Water flask. Oh, I have no space for it. But what I can do is just drink it. Oh, brigand. I'm getting pretty low on mana. I'll wait till the brigand is at half. Yeah, I thought I I had said probably about maybe a little bit before the middle of 2015 that I hope to get uh, 1k subs by the end of the year, or the beginning of 2016, yeah, and pretty much came true. It's, it's kind of neat that that happened. And, uh, like the last 50 subs I've gotten were when I wasn't even making videos on my channel. She's still fighting. That was odd. Maybe it takes them a few seconds to notice they're under 20%. Good luck with the new year and health. Best wishes from for family. Oh. Thanks very much. Drazic. Drazix? There's a Drazix, now there's a Draxus. Huh. <laughs> Probably no relation. Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, I do get a lot of tells, and I'm terrible with remembering names unless I actually uh, 
can put you in context. If you if you send me a lot of tells, and I'm pretty sure I'll remember you after a while. But uh, if you just send me a few tells over a space of a few months, and I've talked to a few dozen other people in the game, I probably won't remember. I'll rem I, sometimes I'll remember the name, but I won't be able to place you. He lives... Let's see, who all Drax... And people also make else. Anonymous. I'm sorry, man. I don't remember... Remember... The name seems sort of familiar, but I can't even remember remembering it. <laughs> it just seems like I may have seen that before. Anyone need a sow? A kunin? Um, nope. Oh, we have... Okay, so we need to move on, then. Uh, how's it going, man? Good. I just need to get back into making videos now. Um, yeah, my health is good. Uh, the, I was saying the neurologist gave me a, a tougher dose of the prescription I have, and it was pretty interesting. Within a couple days, I noticed like the headaches and nausea were gone. But I don't want to be on these long-term, This these pills. They, um, yeah. They weren't really, they originally were made as an antidepressant, and I would like to stay away from that stuff. I've had personal experience in the past with it. So, but... <sighs> It doesn't it doesn't seem to be affecting me like the antidepressants did when I was on uh, Paxil, which really messed me up when I was twenty. That's when that's around the time that I, uh, me and my ex broke up. So back in, if you look at my uh, my thoughts on the game, I was discussing that quite a bit. So I hit him hard. So yeah, it's uh, but it's not affecting me the same way. Still, I guess if you're going to live your life and suffer, but I don't know, they show a lot of long-term issues with uh, antidepressants. I'm not saying every single one of them because there's probably dozens of them. But it was originally made as an antidepressant, but now it's not used as that. It's used as a sleep aid and to deal uh, a pre migraine preventative. And I, it's nortriptyline or something like that. But uh, I have to go see the doctor. I haven't actually seen him. I had to cancel cancel the last appointment because my wife it was like weeks later after the appointment was made she um she actually had to get surgery on her thumb her left thumb because uh, she was she actually had a benign tumor that she had to be removed and it was on the same day I was to go and see the neurologist and it's really hard to get in to see the guy um, yeah I've been putting it off for like the last few weeks but I won't be able to see him probably till March now it takes that long to get get out there and see him but he's good. He's a really good guy. Uh, I'll discuss this. Somebody in my channel mentioned... Um, a lot of people <laughs> give me advice in the comments. Uh, medical marijuana. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of marijuana. Even though this place where I live, the BC, is like a factory for producing marijuana. And the enforcement against it is really minimal. But um, I, I don't personally like it. I don't like the smell at all. I would rather just drink a bit of alcohol. That's, that's good enough for me. But, of course, if you're trying to deal with health issues, that's a different story. I'm going to bring it up with them for whoever it was that left. Yes, 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 you do. Friends and I were discussing that all holiday break. Good, I just need... Um, oh, uh, sorry. Is this an alt? Be right back with Enchanter. Oh. I'd love to have uh, clarity. Uh, I do, okay, your name sounds familiar now, I ju but I just cannot place it. Anonymous, 33 Shadow Knight, uh, sort of, oh, I do remember Athelar. Yeah, ah, uh, yes. Do you re remember that name? Uh, we, we used to chat. A few months back. Quite a few months back. Zigamunda ad Namagis. <laughs> That's quite a, quite the mouthful. There's also the Barons. It's not the Barons. What the heck? The Warrens. Um, that came in a few months ago as well. 
maybe about three, four months ago or five months ago. I was always told back in Classic that that is the absolute best place to level up 20. But I've never been there. I have actually absolutely no idea what it looks like. It's really hard to do that with Thasian because of all the hostile mobs I'll have to pass through, pass by in Kenos, and um, possibly uh, in Otis, the, the continent. I forget the, the name of uh, these guys' city, the Rudite city. But yeah, made this tune because of your SK vids. Ah, awesome. I don't know how to spell awesome. I hope you are enjoying that character. Which... Oh. Ixar, yeah. He's 33. Cool. Yeah, um, it was a great time to make a Ixar Shadow Knight. Shadow Knight in general. Just because of... Um, with the hybrid penalty gone. Which everyone who plays in the server knows about by now. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite race class combo. Yeah, my biggest experiences in the game are this race class combo, and then I would have to say, um, well, Dark Elf Wizard, then I would have to say definitely Ixar, Shadow Knight, and now with. Uh, Sarkis, my XR Shaman, XR Shaman now. So those are my most experienced. This is the highest levels I've ever attained. Now my Shadow Knight is in position to get up to level 50. I, I really wish I was playing this more, especially when I was ill. I could have devoted a lot of hours. Uh, Fallout 4 did get in the way of that. and But my sleep was all getting messed up at the same time too. And Fallout 4 did add to that. And... Um, Though I just felt at the time like I really needed a break. I was I put out so many videos, 1,600 videos in two years. It was pretty exhausting, actually, at times. Because it's not the only thing I did. If I just sit here and this, my whole life is just this, then that's not a big deal. But with my illnesses that I was going through, my spine injury and my stupid migraines and headaches and nausea, and then um, uh, dealing with my children, which is which I do half, half the time. Uh, I've got a four-year-old and a one-year-old. It's it's a lot of work and oh, all together, and I also have another job as well. So it's just it's a little much, and at times my wife was getting pretty frustrated that uh, on her days off she has to basically <laughs> just look after the kids. So she she is carrying me for the most part. She she's the breadwinner in the family. I uh, I used to make as much money as as she would take home net actually when I was in construction, and unfortunately. What's really sad is three hours of my last job in construction was more than I make in a whole month of this game. So that's when I think of <laughs> think of that, I get kind of depressed. But how, how much? Not this game, but the, my channel. How much my channel is bringing in, which really isn't very much. I'll be working on my Lord's Kukri soon enough. Need the pages for Miss Moore and Kesora still, and the parts down in Droga. Oh, okay. So that's the one I have to do next. Jeez, you already went through um, down there already. That's the next one for me as well. I take it you had help with down there. Then, yeah, because if he's thirty-three, down there was a pain at forty-five. Actually, shouldn't be using this spell. Ah, oh, forget it, no spells. Yeah, use 53 mage. Yeah, oh, definitely, that's a definitely good one to go in there with your pet doing all the work. I wish that Sarkis, is my shaman's pet, was in the 40s. It would have made mincemeat of all the mobs in there. Same thing you did pretty much with your shaman. Hmm. Yeah. He helped. Um, in... I think he really only helped in one area. In one one of the camps. But the other three... My SK... Uh, did it alone. 
it um ugh, that's a, <laughs> that's a place I never want to repeat uh, for that quest oh god I when I was there earlier and I already I said this in the video that somebody came through and they were already in there Ooh, the brigand is red bandit I'm gonna hit hit the bandit with firebolt yeah I came in there on like 52 or something Oh, resisted. Must have rooted it. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit... What is my XP? Like, 25? Huh? I don't even know if that's that great. Truth be told. Resi one resist, one hit. Nope, two resists. Yikes. I'm not gonna cast anymore. Why are we short someone? Woonruff. That's a different. Uh, Anonymous. That'll give me a nice big buff, so he's here buffing us. I think I had better luck on the drops than you did, though. Only ones I had in trouble as far as drop rates were the Cly on the bottom floor and the hammer. Um, yeah, the hammer. I actually had two drops of the hammer. One I looted first time with my shaman, which is. Oh man, this is really dumb. But, um... Uh, Cly on the bottom floor. I, I probably... Actually, that was one of the better ones. It was a Cly... The first Cly I had a lot of trouble. I was there for quite a few hours. Hmm. That sort of sounds like mine in total. I just had some bad luck. Um, bad mistakes, more like... Made some bad mistakes there. But, yeah, I would say it's just me being nervous when I was in there. More more so. Want some buffs? High pickle chips. Who the heck is pickle chips? <laughs> Who all pickle? That's not something I ever thought I would write in 60. 60 barbarian. Um, that's not the class. 60 oracle, so shaman. Same here, my SK mage died once apiece. Ack. Ack. I take it you watched my video first. So you didn't make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> so, that... Yeah, these are people on their alts that are cycling out, I guess, getting their other characters in. Can I grab a quick invite? Well, with all the people that are out, I can't do it yet. I think Dylan's the only one that hasn't disbanded. Yeah, he, he did watch it first. Yeah, getting, um... Getting trapped <laughs> after the, uh, the one-way... Uh, hidden door, secret door. That that kind of screwed me. That that put it off for a few weeks, but I had to get out and get level him up because at, was he 40, 41 when I first went? I think it's 41. It's just too low to deal with multiple mobs at the same time. Like the mobs I was fighting were 33 to 35, and when you're dealing with up to three of them at once, that's really close. It's really dangerous. Always doing a group thingy. Pickle chips. I take it he's a fan of pickle chips. Currently hunting guards in high hold keep crazy good experience. Uh, uh, I never made it out to do that area. I might do that as Thasian, actually, if I ever get him up that level. I, I think the, the guards are 25 to 30 inside there. He's 33. I, I guess he's camping the lower level. Guards are attacking him. But it looked like a lot of fun. I was... I did go and see some 
players camping guards in there. A lot of fine steel was dropped. I actually was able to loot quite a lot that was just being left around to rot. I forget what character. That might have been my ranger. That was a long time ago. But and then I went and took a peek at um there's also a basement area inside High Hole Keep and they were fighting goblins, I think. They're level 25 goblins, something like that. Ooh, this one's almost dead before I even touched it. It was the 3%. That was a waste. Oh, CK. <laughs> happy 70... Happy 75th. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> happy 2016. How are you feeling today? Everything. Everything. All right. Right, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I get laughed at when I try to make the accent. That my wife has. I, um, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I had to do the, a eulogy of my uh, wife's, would have been her brother in law. He died just a, just over a year after I, I met her. It's kind of sad. I, I, I got to know him a little bit, not as much as so. he, he had uh, pancreatic cancer, apparently one of the worst cancers, most suffering cancers you can get. Um, yeah, I had to do a eulogy in front of about 200 people. Most of them were Jamaican. <laughs> Uh, I actually wrote the eulogy myself. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. I took it and heavily edited, like doubled the size and added a lot of things. I didn't like what it originally had to say. It's from a friend of the family who did it. But, um... Yeah, I went, there was a part where, uh... I guess my... Uh, I would have to say brother-in-law now, even though we married after he died. Three years after he died. Almost... These guys are dying way too fast. I don't know what's going on now. I think Dylan is really... Oh, they could all be twinked out really well. Glad to hear you're feeling much better. Sorry, ZK, I'm just... I'm trying to recall what I'm supposed to be saying here at the moment. Let's hit... Nope, I'm about to hit Harabia. That's not who I want to hit. The bandit. And the bandit's dead. I'm not really adding much to this fight. Yeah, I had to... There's, there's a point where he said... He used to say... Uh, me all right, man. Everything all right. <laughs> and I, uh, I got a good laugh from the people. Just because they say, well, you sound like a white person trying to talk Jamaican. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying wrong. Sounds the exact same to me. Uh, there's different areas in Jamaica. They don't all say the same thing. Like, it's on the, about as far away from the capital, Kingston, as possible, where my wife comes from. She comes from, um... Oh, what the heck is the name? It's in the far... It's like the southwest. Uh, it's kind of a mountainy area there. In Jamaica. And uh, for some reason I can't recall it. Oh, um... Is it the Manchester area? I'm not sure. But that's not... That's not the area I was exactly thinking of. Let's see, looted it real quick. I'm kind of like just a tag along. Probably not taking much... For uh, experience from the group. I'm adding a little bit. I'm trying to help when they need it. There's been a few times when their their hit points have been down low. I hope you um, everything with ugh, has been good. Everything's been good. Um, I just need time to make these videos now. Yeah, I plan to make them earlier in the week. My computer was also uh, a bit screwed up. I couldn't encode any videos at all. And the reason... I'm paying attention. The reason I couldn't do that was because uh, my computer is overheating. I, I, I put on Windows 10 and I noticed I could not make any videos at all. Uh, I was lucky to get that three minute video out That's that was like the news, the last video I did before this one. Because it just overheating automatically shut down. That probably happened about two times just making a three minute video because it obviously it takes a minute to get to the point where it overheats. And I think I could continue on from where I was or yeah, I think I could. I'm not positive on that. Three minutes, I mean it probably took about six minutes to encode or, or five and five minutes. Five minutes to encode and it really doesn't give me much time. So luckily I was able to get that out. That was the only thing I could. There's no way I can do anything else. Um, so what I had to do is open up my computer, 
um, I, in general, I've been keeping it clean, so I wasn't really sure. But I opened up the CPU fan, and like I literally took it off. The, it was stuck to the CPU with the um, the uh, thermal paste. It was it was like a big glue? So I took it all off. I noticed inside the fan itself, and yeah, ha- I actually had to put a light in there and look at it. Was a whole coating of uh, like not dunny bus dunny. Yeah, the bus dunnies. Uh, dust bunnies is what I'm trying to say. And it was just completely thick with it inside the fan. It was, wasn't an easy thing to see. You couldn't really see it just by opening up the side of your computer of my computer and just blowing all the dust out. I actually had to take it out and literally I was pulling it out with tweezers all in the inside. And I had to keep on cycling the fan around uh, bit by bit and pulling it all out and then blowing. I've got air compressors that so everyone should have to clean out the inside of their computer. And um, But then that probably was part of the problem, but the thermal paste apparently was just, uh, there's no point in even trying this one, was uh, not doing its job anymore. So I actually have the best thermal paste. There's quite a lot left. It's probably about eight tenths left after I used it, because I don't, you don't need very much. And uh, the temperature, like, it's like a new computer now. I don't even hear the fan going when I encode anymore. So when I was encoding, like, they used to get so loud. Even when playing, um, I would say Dragon Age Inquisition with uh, fraps going on was the biggest drain of all the games on my channel uh, because the graphics I guess were pretty intense and the CPU had to well it was mostly the graphics card but the fans are going like crazy whenever I, I ran it and uh, hopefully I don't even think you're going to hear that anymore at least I won't hear it on my end but it's like a new computer seriously um, but uh, it's just the fans don't even really change when I encode now so the fan noise Sorry, I had to relog. Yeah, I have been good and been doing videos as well. Yeah, um, I've been taking a much needed break. Yeah, I know I also took one during the summer for about a month and a half, but that was complete illness. I was so sick I couldn't even do anything. So that was, I would not count that as a break. Uh, break. Uh, and just actually playing games for pure enjoyment. Ugh. All right, enjoyment, annoyment, <laughs> enjoyment for the first time in a few years. We seem to be missing our tank. I think. Did he say AFK? I was also fighting off. Whoa, okay, whoa. I think that's this four bandits. <laughs> I'm not touching a bandit unless... Okay, so this one is yellow. Take it with a shock of ice. It's almost half. 40%. One more. Try to bring it down quick. Oh, I sh- probably shouldn't have hit that. This one is even. It's being hit. Really good. Let's see if I can't get another one. Farmer? Are we attacking farmers now? I don't know if that's a good idea. If I don't hit the farmer, do I do I get the faction loss? I don't know if I do. Well, uh, I've slain a bandit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually get a faction loss for that because I didn't hit it. Yeah, Karan Resonance got better. No, so I didn't touch the farmer. I'm not sure why a farmer came. Truth be told, <laughs> that's that's a little weird. Oh, that was a complete waste of mana. But I put a showing of it. <laughs> Maybe they'll think I actually did it. You can always chalk it up to a bit of a mini delay. Okay, so I've um, sash. Hey, no more farmers, please. I'm trying to make these people like me, not kill innocent farmers out there. Uh, I saw that you have made a few. I will watch uh, them uh, when I can in the next while. Sometimes you do really well. You actually, usually you do very short videos. I find uh, ZK they're pretty easy to watch, especially like you bring down some of the big name mobs in, with your raids. Instead of like my super mega epic two hour long 
hour to two hour long videos that I like to do. Okay, so I guess we're pulling everyone at once now. Okay. That is the way you want to do it. I, I had it, this one. One's dead. This one's being hit. I don't want to hit that one again. Always rooted. Hopefully, this will last. Let's root this time. We stole my mana. 47. That's not too bad. Don't need to hit this one. Who else is being hit? This guy's nearly dead. Oh, that was a total waste. The, you guys go through the blues so quickly. I'll take this alcohol. <laughs> Shouldn't be drinking. Takes away my mana. Oh, um, rune. Damn it. Which tells me that the mobs are... Because I don't think you, you can actually use runes till 16. So some of the mobs are... Uh, bat wing fur. Giant bat fur. Pretty sure I don't need that. Yeah, man, I hear you. Just play games when you want, not worrying about recording. That's what I do sometimes. Uh, wasn't fast enough to stop that. Well, it's good to have clarity. Brigand, so... 15s between 14 and 16 is my guess. I'm just gonna wait till she's about 50%. I have nearly half level. out of mana. Yeah, I'll try to collect as many runes as I can. I remember doing it, uh, researching it. I actually like that, that aspect of the game. I think it's kind of, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like collecting all the cards for a deck, in a way. I've been doing that. I've been with all my other characters, but... <laughs> The ones I've been saving are really high level, like 40s, because of uh, Sarkis and Terex. <laughs> I really should look up this sash thing. What is it called, actually? I think it's just called a bandit sash. My bags are full. Yeah, my, mine are absolutely full. It would be cool if I could do that and get more rep out here. Were you just on a raid? Oh, ZK is not on. What's the last thing uh, the other guy said? I uh, never made it out to do that area. Till I've seen it done. Wanted to hit the guards there but never got around to it. Oh. Nearly half a level so far. Just Ding 34, I love this place, cool. That's great. And he's an XR too, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm too high for it now at 45. Um, are there higher level guards there to fight? Like, if there's level 35, 36 guards, I could go there with uh, Terex. It's a red brigand.
That one hit. One hit too. I think so on the high floors like I should check that out because there there might be other guards up there. I would have to find a bind from somebody and I'd have to be invisible. <laughs> I think you can get a bind anywhere in there. You just yeah, I mean at level forty five there's no problem with, with the guards on the outside, I think. Um yeah, they don't I can't see them seeing through invisible or anything. Bandit's corpse. Oh, there's sash. Somebody's not picking up their sashes. Somebody is looting like before they even get away from them. Find steel swords every time too. So fine. yeah, that is pretty good, actually. Um, the, but. There's no place to vendor them. You could potentially like have your lighty count nearby and just drop all the swords. Yeah, and then pick them up. Your lady, your your main or alt character, and then just go sell them. You couldn't get plat back to your character that way, but. I'm a little drunk. Couldn't let myself let a beer go to waste. One beer? Yep, on the first floor is an erudite that will sell to anyone, I think. Oh. That is pretty good. Check it out for the... in the future. Even. Even. But I hit pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I got a, a little bronze dagger. Well, that's got to be worth more than, say, like, a giant snake rattle. Why the hell do I have some of this stuff? Um, done. Destroy. And just take, take the bronze dagger. And you guys killed that guy before I can even contribute. Yeah, I really wanted to work on Terex, my, my uh, Ixar Shadow Knight, since he's my favorite. And I will. It could be a while. It's not something that's ever done right away. I have a lot of other videos to get to. Or a lot of other games to get to. I should be... Um, this one's yellow. I need to make a... Um, thingy, and I can't even remember how to do it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. You should. What is it called? Um, ugh, I think. Yeah, my mind is uh, not really with it. I have to start thinking clearly to get proper videos done, which means good sleep. And I still like pretty drowsy when I wake up if I have to take something to make me fall asleep. So, and uh, I'll just hit noon now. So, wake up, brain. Wake up. They find with people who aren't fully awake, like, part of their brain is literally still not awake. Uh, people who are, like, groggy and who haven't slept properly. Oh, I lost my clarity, so... Skin like diamond, and I haven't put on... Does that overwrite my lesser shielding? No, it does not. Which is a good thing. I guess this is the Bandit Camp video.
Yeah, uh, an assist. Kind of hard for me to do that at the moment. We should be metting at the moment. I'll bet you the bandit's dropping um, bronze, actually. If so, this is a pretty good spot to come. Get one off. There we go. Dylan hits pretty good. Just a blue. I'll take him down in seconds. I like this sound. This makes me think... I mean, I know I'm not supposed to be on top of a mountain, but it just reminds me of like being out in the snow. I love games that try to recreate a snow-type environment. Just with the, the wind blowing and... See, one of my favorite things like in, in real life is like a nice sunny day. Nice sunny day, but it's cold and snow everywhere. Thick snow. Uh, it just seems bright and cheerful for me. Like the sun is kind of reflecting off the snow and... I also like it when it's snowing heavily and you can't, um, like everything's kind of muffled. You hear cars off in the distance, but, you know, of course people aren't driving really fast, but anyway, it's also like very subdued and you hear kids off in the distance and it's just very faint, but you know what I mean? Because uh, the snow muffles all the sound. I think that's really cool. And there's games, I think Skyrim is probably the closest one. Like you actually have full on blizzards. If you get mods... You could hardly see a thing, especially at night. Like, all you see is this white stuff falling and the wind blowing, and it's just dark. You can't really see much. But uh, I, I just really appreciate the snow. I'm more of a cold weather type person myself. I don't do too well in hot weather. almost died down in Mexico for the honeymoon. Holy. That was so hot. That was the first time I ever saw my wife sweat. Like, she never sweats. Even when exercising, which just makes me think she's not exercising hard enough. That may be the case, but still. <laughs> she just never sweats, even on hot days. But, you know, even in Jamaica, the, the tour guy, we went to some... I uh, barely remember the tour now. Yeah, it was... Uh, the natives... It was a... Uh, not a museum, but a place that kind of gave tours on the way the natives used to live on the island before, uh, I guess, the Europeans arrived. And, yeah, they're, even from local, uh, Simon Fraser University was down there. They, they did some research, and uh, some of the credits were given to them, which is literally 15 minutes from where I live, so... By Vancouver. Two evens. Yeah, even the tour guide was sweating. <laughs> He's a, a black Jamaican. He, and the, yes, there are non-black Jamaicans. There's actually a, quite a few Asians and um, even some East Indians that live there. And there are still white people, not too many, that live there since, I guess, colonial days. I actually, uh, I was in a martial arts class. This guy, uh, his wife was Jamaican. You'd never know it. She, was, she looked completely white. When he said that, I think, oh, so it's like my wife, right? But no. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, that cut. girl went down fast. Yeah, they have names names for them. Is it called coolies or something if they're East Indian? And I think they just call them Chinamen if they're Asian. <laughs> Which is not something that... You, you would say where we live in Canada. I think it was kind of I've taken a bit as offensive. People have different names for things in different areas. With these buffs I have, I don't really think I'm in too much danger of getting stomped by these yellows like I was pre-buffs. Yeah.
just finished uh, watching uh, True Detective with my wife, second season. Holy, if you haven't seen it, the True Detective series is from uh, Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey, their producers. They were in the first season as the main characters. It's uh, first season was pretty good. I liked. I think the acting. I, I knew Matthew McConaughey could act really well, but uh, he he just it just was completely probably one of the best performances in my opinion that I've seen. I mean, people could argue differently. It's all everything in life is subjective, but I, I liked his his acting in that one. It's really good. Even Woody Harrelson is good. Imperfect characters going through strife and stuff with. Uh, well, they're detectives, of course. And then second season is completely different characters, different people, different stuff going on. And um, it didn't have the semi-happy ending that first season had. It was it was uh, a little depressing, actually. Because even my wife thought, well, everything ended pretty well in the first one, but in the first season. But no, second season was pretty depressing. So yeah, I've been thinking about that. So Red Brigand. No, everything is being resisted, and since I have no clarity, it's going to take me a while to recover all the mana. This milk is almost used up. I also, I, you know, I need a new headset. I've noticed that. And the reason for that is because this one is from 2007 when I was playing World of Warcraft. I bought this headset so I can talk and vent with my guilds, guild members. But um, I think I've dropped it one too many times. <laughs> I guess the left, left, uh, left speaker keeps fading. It's actually, it's on, but it, it's very faint, yeah. Very faint. Just keep having to hit it, but... And sometimes... <laughs> It'll come on, full full on volume. And I've turned the volume up so I can hear, and then it's just really loud in my ears. That I don't like. I seem to need like a, it's, it's weird, when I'm playing games, I almost like, I have to play something it's not that I get so sick of something, it's just like I need, it's like my left brain needs some loving <laughs> as well. So I have to play strategy games. If I play too many right brain games, like all the uh, RPGs I play where I'm doing like my role playing or whatever, and using my imagination for a lot of it to carry through stories. And on my channel, uh, everything's gone 100% in character, so... And that's the way I, I want the basis of my channel to be, is to be known as a role-playing channel. I also do strategy games and this this MMO, of course. That's, But, you know, like I find I just need that left brain activity, I find, after playing RPGs for a while. it just It's like, I don't know, maybe it's like a pregnant woman craving some food or something. But I don't know, it's just like, I, I just need that. Yeah. I don't know, I, it's hard to explain, it's just how I feel, like I have to get strategy games in, in because it's it's really all left brain activity, it's all calculations and thinking ahead and what I'm supposed to be doing or what I should be doing or what I'm tr I need to be trying to get up to do, so I just, it, it's strange, I don't know if anybody else has that, uh, playing MMOs, is, it's kind of like that in a way, in some ways, but just a lot more immediate when you're doing strategy. A lot more intense. It's weird because uh, when I moved down here from where I used to live, uh, from Kelowna, moved down to uh, Vancouver area, yeah, I took some math courses to catch up on my education. And um, I just remember my, my brain literally was like fried after an hour, the first hour of, of working on it because I hadn't done it. In, in several years. I think I was like 25 at the time. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. I was like, <sighs> couldn't explain it. But then when I started writing, writing uh, books, and that's, that's the most brain intensive activity I've ever done. It is literally for the first few days, completely exhausting. I can only, I have to like build it up in increments. Uh, probably only do an hour or two, but maybe an hour at, at a time. 
over the first couple of days, and I slowly built it up. And at one point, I was writing 12 hours a day, and much of that would be editing. I, I don't think anyone can re creatively think that much information up. But and editing is completely left brain. Actually, writing is really good because it's a combination of left and right. A lot of the editing um, is like calculating how proper grammar is and how where it should be. Or, but you also have to use your right brain to conjure up the story and everything as well while you're doing it. So writing is actually like a, a full brain type activity. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more of that this year. It may, it's obviously it's going to cut into this game or my channel a bit. I really don't have a choice, so but I have to really get on top of that. My wife is also at the same time. She's doing. Uh, they have to do catch up. Like um, since she's a nurse, she also has to uh, keep up updating herself with uh, the latest techniques and information. So they they give them tests and uh, like kind of like a mini course that she can do while she's also working. She has to do that in her time off. It's like 15 chapters between now and. Uh, February 19th, so for the tests. She's got to work on that on her off days, which actually will kind of hurts me doing any work here in this channel as well. So uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, I'll have to be watching the kids while she's doing that, and uh, that in itself is a big job. If you've ever had kids, you would know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I should probably end the video. It's been going on for approximately over a half hour and a half now. But, uh, alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, all I can say is I'm back, I'm going to slowly try to get everything together while I can throughout the, the next couple weeks, and uh, hopefully I'll be back fully on schedule. But there's no guarantees, there's a lot going on in my life, so. Alright, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.